not a good movie. But I did see something that I think is one of the best political movies in years, and that's Wiener. I saw Wiener. Yes. Mm. I watched it last night. Yes. Did, did, wasn't it good? Wasn't it good? Oh, my God, dude. It was... I <laughs> you, There are a lot of oh, my God moments. You're like, I can't believe <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's superb. It, it's it, it's really it is the documentary. I think that is right now so relevant. You have to watch it. I mean, you really do have to. Well, but it's also incredibly well done, though. I mean, it, it just you yeah. Can't and the turn tone, the, tone, the tone must have been just, the tone must have been tricky, because we all know the story. But the the reason right. to see the movie is that. The cameras are right there in the thick of it, and Anthony Weiner and his wife are allowing the cameras to be there to cover yes. their reaction to the whole thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, even after, I mean, he, I'm sure he agreed to it at first because he said, "Okay, this is good marketing." He said, "I'm going to, I'm going to get over this first scandal, and I'm going to go out. I'm going to win mayor, and this is going to be a triumphant movie." And then, as they're shooting the movie. He gets caught again doing it, and his mm-hmm. career career is more or less ended. But he still allows the cameras to follow him. That's that's the fascinating part of it. The, there's the, there's fascination about uh, his wife, who's who's very close to Hillary Clinton, like mm-hmm. a very close friend of Hillary Clinton and advisor. Right. And oh, rumors yeah. rumor, rumors that Hillary Clinton's camp wanted him to choose either divorcing her husband or leaving her campaign, leaving her mm-hmm. staff. Which coming out of Hillary Clinton is rich, you know. Uh, yeah, there, I know. yeah. There, there, there's like a lot of, uh, and and it is so relevant to today, and it gets you to thinking, if, if like what what was the difference between now, and back when Kennedy was sleeping around? Mm-hmm. Um, like, it, it, would Kennedy be brought down in the same way if he existed today? Probably. Well, yes. likely. Yeah. But uh, but people knew back then, or, or but but the public at large. Th- this is the difference, I think. The public at large back then probably didn't care to know, unless they yeah. were prone to be critics of him in the first place. Today, yeah. there's an insatiable appetite for everyone to know that shit. Yeah, I. Yeah. We're forgetting. There's a major player not involved in this election right now, who would have been involved in this election. That's Elliot Spitzer. Um, he would have been a major... I'm convinced he would have been a major player, but he got brought down by at number nine. He was brought down. Um, you know, he'll never well, he'll never run in politics again, but he, he was the one... another person who could have challenged um, Hillary in this Isn't election. Isn't something cycle. else? The, the two, the two uh, big uh, Democratic sex scandals, their names are Wiener and Spitzer. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. But, yeah, that's the um, – but these are the two uh, – I don't think Wiener would have ever – he may have been, you know, at best governor material, never presidential material. See, Spitzer, I think he though, was very – I think he was very uh, – one of the most promising figures in Democratic politics. I I I I think he had this quality about him that could was very rallying, very mm-hmm. rousing, rousing for people. Um, no, so just I, I think it was a major a major loss because he was a fucking yeah. idiot. Yeah, it's just and it, it, it you know and you watch it and you think uh, because he goes on these press conferences he's trying to be very open but he's also trying to yeah. talk about the issue, issues and blah blah blah. The only thing the media wants to know, the only thing, is, is sex scandal. And they ask, literally, they ask the exact same question over and over and over mm-hmm. again in the same press conference. Like they want him to say it a different way, answer it a different way. He just answered that, but they, they, yeah. that's all they want to talk about. And you're thinking, is that, is that justified? Because you look at him and, and you, know, you, have to, you have to think about judgment. Uh, if he has good judgment, and then on the other half of your brain says, "What does sex have to do with you know what he's going to do with public policy and all of this kind of stuff? Should it should it be relevant? One be relevant to the other?" 
and and then so that's that's a good thing that the movie explores. And on the other side of it, tonally, it's so interesting because it makes you it, it's very depressing. You feel very bad for his wife. You feel bad that you know he's ruined his own legacy as a result of this. And then there's the absurdity of it. Like right. you tweeted a picture of your junk. That's absurd. What like he's some kind of out of control teenager. And then yes. the absurdity of the media circus surrounding it, the absurdity of us being so preoccupied with this. And it's all in there and, and tonally it's really it's really interesting because it's it flips between depressing and very funny. But you know, you bring up the press and the press is a very important part of this because the press is a very important part of the twenty sixteen election year. I mean that they're you do wonder if we really do have any real journalists left anymore. I mean, there are a couple I can probably on a bit on my, my one hand I can name off, but they all are just obsessed with the, the sensationalism. I mean, there's a reason, unfortunately, why um, one of the candidates is covered 24 seven by the three 24 um, hour news networks. Um, even Les Mumbe says, we're going to talk about Trump, uh, because it's money, it makes money for us. Um, yeah, it's our ravings are sky high. So I mean, this is this is really the political documentary of our time. I mean, this really it's is a home run, and I think everyone should watch it because I think it comes. You want to know why things are the way they are? Watch this documentary. I really believe that. Mm. Yeah, it's good. So watch Wiener. Watch Wiener. <laughs> <laughs> it isn't very, have an Oscar Mayer while you're watching it. Have a, have yeah, a, oh, go out to the store, pick up, pick up a copy, and when you're ready, pull it out. It's, <laughs> uh, you'll, you won't be sorry. 